Hi everybody, hi again. So I'm here to do a haul on my recent Trinity Mall trip. And I specifically went there because I've been gaining a little bit of weight. I'm normally around 140, 142 pounds and I'm like 145, I was 147-ish somewhere around there. And I know it's not that much weight but you have to get it while it's, you know, the number's not that big because you know it's running away. I don't want to be the weight. I used to be 175. Eh eh, not again. So they have this 10 plus 10 plus 10 which they say really pans out to about 28% um, decrease in the prices. Um, that's the excellence center sale that they have until the 10th of this month so you still have time so I was interested in buying a scale to monitor my weight and I'm glad to say it, this morning I weigh and it was 144 that's the thing I rapidly gain weight and I rapidly lose it so mm. right so this is the scale I bought it's just a basic Oh, basic bathroom scale, right? Got that for around sixty sixty one dollars with the sale. Um, also, I went to Christopher Robin kiosk, which is magical makeup. I always have to, you know, drop in a little there. He is so nice. Y'all please check him out. Um, so I got this concealer. It's a Mary Kay concealer. My color is bronze one and this is what? One or two shades lighter than my actual complexion. And I love the way when I apply this, it just really brightens up. Number one, tiny, tiny amount is needed and it spreads smoothly no problem with that i just pat it on with my finger um i like that it's not greasy because i used to use the um sasha's eyeshadow base as a concealer and it's very greasy and it's thick so it really falls into my lines which i really hate um but this one i really like it it's the finish is, is a bit weightless and it's, it's like a powder. It dries to like a powder. Yes. Um, so I use it on the hair. I use it here to highlight a little bit and here to highlight. I love it. I use so, so little of it. This was, I think it was $90. I think so. But this is going to last me so long. It is so it. Moving on, I also got this at Trinity Mall, but not from Trinity Mall. There is a girl I can't remember. I'll look and put the name. She has a Facebook page and she is selling makeup. So she had the shadow insurance there. Um, to pay shadow insurance. Everybody knows about to pay shadow insurance. Um, what I do, because a lot of people complain that it separates in the tube and when you squeeze you have the uh, clear liquid coming out instead of the, the body of the product. So what I do, I just squeeze it like this to mix it up and then I use it. What I don't like about this product, I shouldn't say this product, but I felt as if this this tube didn't come full. You see how the Mary Kay, as soon as it squeeze it, products come out. I have to like, and I just got this. I have to squeeze it like almost halfway to then see products. So, I, I didn't like that at all. I feel cheated. But anyway, what I like about the product is that it does work. It says it does in that I use and that's the thing I use a little more than I usually did 
one time, which still wasn't that much, and I creased. I creased. But when I use, like, you know, I use the smallest, smallest amount and spread that all over the lid, and I use some under here too before I conceal. No creasing. I go whole day, no creasing. What I like about it too is that some colors that I used before with the NYX base, for example, it killed some of my colors, like dull, dull pink, dolly pink from uh, Flash Cosmetics, those pigments, it just killed it, it looked so dull on my lid, but with the Too Faced Insurance, I don't have that problem, my colors look more alive so i really like this product so i will repurchase it that's it i can't find something for cheaper that does the same thing um this tube costs 90 dollars she organizes meetings so i think she has a sandal meeting and a rima meeting and uh one at Trin city mall um this guy named tyro comes and gives you the product so you pay on delivery which is nice I don't like to like pay for stuff and wait for days I'm really anxious about my cosmetics I want it right away so yeah I was oh when I was liming at um Christopher Robbins kiosk magical makeup he gave me a sample well not sample but he allowed me to put on the Arlene Villarul white pro base I really like that product he doesn't carry it but I'm, I really want to get that product why instead of using my NYX base which has this waxy kind of feeling to it um, which promotes creasing because dries like a powder so it dries it dries without a waxy film yeah i like that about it so i'll try it out <laughs> next i went to pennywise of course i was looking one of my subby suggested um was it the optimum oil treatment i think so i went actually to get that and the girl behind the counter she was like i'm not even giving that to you not that it's bad but i have something better and she gave me the shamir herbal hot oil treatment oh my lord sorry people Right, Shamir Hot Oil Treatment. This has henna, sage, olive oil for dry and damaged hair, and at the back it says the oils of the castor, olive and rosemary repair dry and damaged hair, while the henna and nettle herb condition and strengthen. You can use this as a hot oil treatment, or you can use it as um, just massage a small amount onto the scalp every day I I plan to use it both ways in that every day I massage a small like I have I put this on top of a container I dip my fingertips and I just go through and massage it into the scalp I like the fact that it has castor oil in it and it doesn't it doesn't have a bad smell because people have been saying on YouTube that the castor oil actually promotes growth my hair grows an inch a month i'm very sure of this so i want to see if there would be any increase in hair growth i'm kind of skeptical but i like it because i don't have dandruff but i have dry scalp and so far it's been inhibiting this from occurring so i really like it and just a very very small amount that I use every day so two thumbs up for that and it's a local brand so I'm really 
loving that. Now, this is something bad we do in terms of hair care. We tend to jump from product to product to product and sometimes you don't get a fair assessment of what the product really can do for you. So, yeah, I think I want to go back to my optimum deep conditioning pack, but I wanted to try the Dr. Miracle. Ah, the Dr. Miracle deep conditioning treatment. And this is in super strength. Tingly, tingly. People say it smells like mint. Like, not like mint, like menthol. Yeah. It's okay. What I like about it is that it is a little less thick so it's easy to distribute throughout the hair that's all i could really say about it i've used it twice so i really can't give a good review on this right now um also as pennywise i wanted something like a gel for example when you have your hair in one and you just want to slip down the front or just maybe the whole hair blah 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 because you see in my hair growth I started off with the sides and the top it's shorter than the rest so what I did was just trim it back even it out I'm not gonna cotton all my hair to this length so you know it's just gonna have to catch up with trimming and stuff but you know when your hair short at the sides and then you try to put it in one and it's chaos it just keeps peeping out and you have to stick it with um stick it down with hairpins and stuff and i don't like using hairpins because when you take it out it always plucks out your hair so i wanted something to just flick this back and be done with it i was standing at the counter the girl at the counter had given me some other something and a lady next to me said nah girl it has something better i just use it and it's cheaper than that something with olive oil she couldn't remember the name exactly so sh the girl said we don't have anything like that behind the counter you know they're famous for that in, in pennywise she she don't know what they're talking about no they don't carry that so as she the girl is um shifting products the lady says look at there look at there and this was it Oh, God. Olive oil with a double sheen olive oil twist and look gel. What I like about this is that I use the smallest amount and just rub it up, do so, and good to go. So I like that I use just a small amount. Also, it does not crisp the hair it doesn't get hard your hair remains soft and nice i love that it performs its duty also i'm loving this and i felt like such a bastard so girl if you're watching my videos are real sorry is after i was like oh my gosh when the girl found it right she gave it to me and then the, the lady now who said suggested it to me she said yeah i can take one too so then the girl looking, looking and she say, oh gosh, that was the last one I know. So then we look at each other and we start to laugh. And then I was like, thanks, and walked away. So, in retrospect, maybe I should have given it to her. I'm always in Tuna Puna, maybe. Alright, I don't know. I felt kind of bad. So, that's that. And my last purchase on my trip to Trim City Mall are these shoes. I salsa, I Latin dance, and I wanted a new pair of shoes with, I mean, normally I dance in pencil heels, and like when you're doing your cross body leads and different turns and stuff, and you know, you have to land on your feet after pretty hard to get your balance with those um, pencil heels so I wanted something with a thicker heel, more substantial heel comes in a suede finish nice peak toe action it, on the leg it looks, this, this area looks way better 
planet look from just looking at it here. I like the whole strappy, you know, I love this shoe. And it only cost me with their sale $112. Right, so that's it for my haul. I have a, I would like to know if anyone has any information on a product though. Not a product, it's a perfume. Right Shine by Heidi Klum. This perfume is the best smelling perfume I've encountered thus far in my life. My neighbor bought it for me. He was so nice to bring this back for me. And it's halfway done. And I'm not seeing it anywhere else. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm not seeing this anywhere else. If you all have ever seen this perfume, know where I can get it, please let me know. So that's it for my haul. Thanks for watching. Take care.